Um, so then what happened was, as we started to talk about the children, we asked them, who is taking care of you? And we found out that, in fact, nobody's—virtually no one is taking care of these children directly, that they are locked up in these cells 24 hours a day. There are open toilets in many of these cells. There's no soap, no way to wash their hands. They're being fed in these cells, the, the processed instant foods that I described for you earlier. And um, they, many of them are being forced to sleep on concrete because of a shortage of beds and mats and sleeping space. Children describe sleeping on concrete floors. They describe sleeping on cement blocks. Not just the older children, but we heard of infants, toddlers, preschoolers, school-aged children who are having to sleep on the floor. To make things worse, we, we, as we were trying to call in the youngest children, because we were especially concerned about the vulnerabilities of uh, certain elements of this population, we found out that there were a number of children that they could not bring to us because they were so sick. And so we started to count the number of children who apparently were sick at this facility and had been quarantined. And we estimated that at least 15 children that we that we knew about uh, were in quarantine during the time that we were there. And when we uh, finally got access to these children by telephone, we learned about the conditions in these quarantine facilities, which were just horrendous. These very sick children with, uh, with high fevers are being put on the floor, on mats, largely unsupervised, locked up together for days at a time. They uh, are bringing, being brought the same foods that are being fed to everybody else at the facility, despite the fact that they're very sick. They also have someone who is coming there uh, twice a day to check their fever and uh, to give them any medications that are needed. But there's nobody really caring for these children in the quarantine areas, despite their severe illness. Now, keep in mind that many of the children who have died in these Border Patrol facilities in recent months died from, the, from influenza, which is very, very rare in a developed country like the United States. But as you can see, these are not conditions that you would expect to see in the United States.